This snippet is adding sketch style controls to enhance a sketch flow layout. My name is Jeremy Osborne presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft. In this snippet, you'll learn how to add interactive controls to your online snowboard application. Concepts covered include adding divisions to your screen with sketch rectangles, as well as adding text and combo boxes to simulate an online form. So let's get started here. You'll want to open the Snowboard Online project that's associated with the snippet. There's a few screens that I've added here in this project file, and you'll want to be able to access them as you walk along with the snippet. The first thing you'll want to do is within the Sketchflow map window is double-click the Boards page if you're not currently located there. And again, I've put some text in here for you, All Terrain, Details, and Cart. What we're going to be doing is adding three divisions to these pages using the sketch rectangles. This is simply a way to mark off the sections of the page that will later turn into things like list boxes or shopping carts. So in order to do this, I'm going to go ahead and click on my Assets tab in the left-hand corner. This opens up the Assets Library. And you'll want to make sure that the subcategory under Styles, Sketch Styles, is selected. Again, click on that subcategory Sketch Styles and we'll see all of our sketch styles located here. Go ahead and click on the rectangle sketch style. And now what we can do is draw sketch style rectangles by clicking and dragging. So I'll place my cursor under the all terrain subtitle and then click and drag down and to the right. So this adds a rectangle. Next I'll do the same thing under the detail subtitle. I'll click and drag down and to the right. And next I'll add another rectangle, a little bit smaller, underneath the cart title by clicking and dragging, about half the size of the other ones. So all we have here are three rectangles, and this simply tells us these are placeholders for content at a later point. Now let's go ahead and add a checkout button. We can do that by going into our assets library and clicking on the button sketch, and then clicking and dragging that onto our artboard, like so. Now we can click on our selection tool and reposition that as needed. Now if we want to rename this, we can double click on that button. The text is highlighted and we can now type checkout. Click anywhere on the artboard to deselect that. So creating placeholders on your page is as simple as drawing rectangles. However, these are just static rectangles. They simply mark off the space. We also have interactive controls that simulate the sort of things we usually find in interactive applications. In fact, that checkout button is an example of that. It's a button. Now, if you go into your Sketchflow map panel, you'll see that there's a screen called Sketch Style Controls. Go ahead and double click on that. So here we have a number of different controls, the type of controls that you would usually find on an online application. Things like checkboxes, radio buttons, list boxes, and more. Now these are not just visual controls, they're actually interactive. So in order to look at this, let's go ahead and choose Project, Run Project. This will open up our prototype in the Sketchflow player. And because that sketch style control screen was not linked to any other screen, we're going to go ahead and use the map to locate it. So go ahead in the bottom left hand corner of the Sketchflow player and click on Map. Click and drag within that screen as necessary and double click on the sketch style controls screen. So this opens up that same screen we saw earlier in Sketchflow. The important part here is that we can see that these are all interactive. So if I go ahead and click within the checkbox, it becomes selected. If I go down to my list box item, I can click and drag. You can see how the scroller moves here. I also have things like sliders, which I can click and drag. I have tabs to represent a tabbed interface, and we also have a combo box here. Now we have other controls as well, however what I'd like to do now is to go ahead and create one of these combo boxes as well as some text boxes for an interactive form. So let's go ahead and close Sketchflow Player, and when we return to Sketchflow, let's go down to our Sketchflow map and double click on the checkout screen. Again, here I've created a screen for you in which most of the fields within the pavement section are enabled. So things like name, card, street, and so forth. So the first thing we're going to do is add the easy one. We'll add the zip code text box. In order to do that, we go to our assets panel and we locate text box sketch. Go ahead and click on that. 
place your cursor roughly aligned with the edge of the apartment field and click and drag down and to the left. Choose your selection tool. So we can see there's some default text within that zip code. What I'm going to do to clear that out is to double click that text field and simply delete. Click anywhere within the artboard to deselect that and we now have a new text box. Now we'll go ahead and add a combo box. So here we see the state section. Oftentimes in forms we give the user the ability to choose from a list of states. So this is something we can represent within our prototype. In order to do this, I'm going to go ahead and within my assets panel locate the combo box sketch. I'm going to place my cursor here roughly even with the city field and then click and drag down and to the right. So what we can see here is that the default combo box control has been added. We can see a small arrow here on the right hand side. However, we also need to add the items. Now we're not going to add all 50 states, obviously. We're going to go ahead and add maybe two or three, just enough to give the user some idea of the behavior. In order to do this, I'm going to place my cursor over that combo box. You'll see that it's highlighted in blue. And then I'm going to right click. And within this menu, we can see that there's an option here called Add Combo Box Item Sketch. So we'll have multiple items within the actual combo box itself. Go ahead and select that. And we can now see that a default combo box item has appeared. Let's go ahead and double click on this in order to rename it. This will activate it. And now you can go ahead and type Alaska. Let's do that one more time. Place your cursor over the initial combo box. Right click. Choose Add Combo Box Item. We should get a new one. Again, with your selection tool, double click that generic combo box item text. When it highlights, go ahead and type Alabama. Now let's go ahead and choose Project, Run Project. And let's see how our list box appears within our screen. The fastest way to get to our checkout page is to click on the map down in the lower left hand corner. Click and drag. Locate that checkout screen and double click. So here we can see our payment form. If we click on that state menu, we should see the two states that we added, Alaska and Alabama. And we're done. So in this snippet, you've had a chance to look at how to add divisions to your screens using rectangles, as well as adding interactive elements such as a combo box to your Sketchflow project. Thank you for now. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft.